dispersion of light and the formation of rainbow. Visual light is a part of electromagnetic spectrum. It is a combination of different electromagnetic waves with different wavelengths that is 0.4 micrometers to 0.7 micrometers. The waves which have shortest wavelength that is 0.4 micrometers are in violet color. The waves which have largest wavelength that is 0.7 micrometers are in red color. Remaining five colors that is indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange are present in between violet and red colors respectively. Splitting of white light into its seven constituent colors when passed through a transparent medium is called dispersion of light. It was discovered by Sir Isaac Newton in 1666. Let us understand why light splits into different colors when it passes through a prism. The speed of light is constant in vacuum for all colors but it depends on the wavelength of light when it passes through a medium. So, when white light passes through a medium, each color selects its least time path and they have refraction of different colors to different extents. Due to this refraction, white light is dispersed into its spectrum of colors. These different colors reach the opposite side of the prism and once again refracted into the air red being deviated the least and violet the most. At the second refraction, the angle between red and violet rays increased. Hence, spectrum appears perfectly. Observe, it is a prism. It is dispersing sunlight into its constituent colors. Now we are going to do an activity to observe dispersion of light in classroom. Take a tray and fill it with water. Place a mirror in water such that it makes an angle to the water surface. Now, focus white light on the mirror through water and try to obtain colors on a white cardboard sheet. Here, sunlight dispersed by water, so we obtain rainbow colors. Now we are going to learn about formation of rainbow. The beautiful colors of rainbow are due to dispersion of sunlight by millions of tiny water droplets. Let us observe carefully what will happen when sunlight strike a water droplet. When the ray of light enter into water drop, refraction takes place. Due to this refraction, white light is dispersed into its spectrum of colors. 
violet being deviated the most and red the least these different colors reach the opposite side of the water drop and each color is reflected back into the drop because of total internal reflection arriving at the surface of the drop each color is again refracted into air at the second refraction the angle between red and violet rays increases the angle between incoming and outgoing rays can be anything between 0 degrees and 42 degrees we observe bright rainbow when the angle is between 40 degrees and 42 degrees the color red will be seen when the angle is 42 degrees while violet color will be seen when the angle is 40 degrees if we look at angle between 40 degrees and 42 degrees we will observe the remaining colors of with gr each droplet disperses a full spectrum of colors but only a single color reaches the observer side if red light from a single droplet reaches the eye of an observer other colors from the same droplet cannot reach his eye likewise red color reaches the observer from top layer droplets while violet color from downward droplets remaining colors reach from the droplets which are lying between these two layers okay children study well grow well be a good citizen and proud to be an indian thank you